Imagine waking up to the strongest geomagnetic storm in more than 20 years, one so powerful it squeezed. Earth's plasmosphere, down to just one-fifth of its usual size. That's exactly what happened during the Ganon Superstorm, also known as the Mother's Day Storm, on May 10th to 11th. 2024, a new study from Nagoya University reveals the first direct, continuous measurements of how a superstorm crushes the plasmosphere of its protective bubble of charged particles. And the results are stunning. The key instrument? JAXAS array satellite, perfectly positioned as the storm hit. It watched the outer edge of the plasmosphere collapse from 44,000 kilometers above. Earth down to just 9,600 kilometers in only nine hours. Why does this matter? because the plasmosphere plays a crucial role in shielding satellites, stabilizing GPS signals, and protecting us from high-energy radiation. When it collapses, the entire near-Earth environment becomes more dangerous for technology and astronauts. And here's the twist. Recovery should take about a day or two, but this time, over for days, the longest recovery seen since a race launched in 2016. The culprit was something called a negative storm. A sudden, Massive drop in charged particles across the ionosphere, caused by extreme heating in the upper atmosphere. With so few particles available, the plasmosphere simply couldn't refill. The storm was so intense, it even pushed auroras all the way to Japan, Mexico, and southern Europe, places that almost never see them. This study gives scientists their clearest picture yet of how energy moves through Earth. As plasma environment during extreme solar storms end, it helps improve forecasts for the next superstorm, which could disrupt GPS, radio communication, and even satellite operations. As we enter a period of heightened solar activity, events like the Ganon storm remind us just how fragile our technological systems can be and how powerful the sun really is.